This tutorial will teach you a few quick ways to randomly select names, numbers, or any other data. You will also learn how to get random sample without duplicates and how to randomly select a specified number or percentage of cells, rows, or columns in a mouse click. Whether you do market research for a new product launch or evaluate the results of your marketing campaign, you must use an unbiased sample of your data for the analysis. And the easiest way to achieve this is to get a random selection in Excel. Before discussing sampling techniques, let's provide a bit of a background information about random selection and when you might want to use it. In probability theory and statistics, a random sample is a subset of data selected from a larger data set, aka population. Each element of a random sample is chosen entirely by chance and has an equal probability of being selected. Why would you need one? Basically to get non-biased representation of the total population. For example, you want to conduct a little survey among your customers. Obviously, it would be unwise to send out a questionnaire to every single person in your multi-thousand database. So whom do you survey? Will that be the 100 newest customers or the first 100 customers listed alphabetically? or 100 people with the shortest names. None of these approaches fit your needs because they are innately biased. To get an impartial sample where everyone carries an equal opportunity of being chosen, do a random selection by using one of the methods described below. There is no built-in function to randomly pick cells in Excel, but you can use one of the functions to generate random numbers as a workaround like rand and rand between. These probably cannot be called simple intuitive formulas, but they do work. Supposing you have a list of names in cells A2 to A15, and you want to randomly select one name from the list. This can be done by using one of the following formulas. Equal, index, the array of the range of names A2 to A15. Lock the range pressing F4. Now instead of a specific row number, we want Excel to randomly choose one of the names. This can be done by using the rand between function. The bottom is the number 1, the first name. The top is the count of all of the names. So I will use counta from A2 to A15. Remember that we use counta when we have text and count when we have numbers. As column number, we put 1 because the names are in the first column of the worksheet. Here is the first random name. If I drag it down, I will have different random names for each cell. We could use the function rows instead of counta. That's it. Your random name picker for Excel is all set up and ready to serve. Naturally, these formulas can not only pick random names, but also select random numbers, dates, or other random cells. In a nutshell, you use the index function to extract a value from a list based on a random row number returned by rand between. If you want to remember the syntax of the index function and how it works, I have a separate video tutorial. You can click the link here. In general, the index array form returns the value of an element in a table or an array based on the row and the column numbers you specify. Array is a range of cells named range or table. Row num is the row number in the array from which to return a value. If row num is omitted, column num is required. Column num is the column number from which to return a value. If column num is omitted, row num is required. More specifically, the rand between function generates a random integer between the two values you specify. For the lower number, you supply the number 1. For the upper value, you use either counta or rows to get the total row count. As a result, rand between returns a number between 1 and the total counts of rows in your dataset. This number goes into the row num argument of the index function, telling it which row to pick. For the column num argument, we use 1 since we want to extract a value from the first column. Please be aware that rand between is a volatile function, meaning it will recalculate with every change you make to the worksheet. As a result, your random selection will also change. To prevent this from happening, you can copy the extracted name and paste it as a value to another cell or to the same cells from paste special, then values.
This method works well for selecting one random cell from a list. If your sample is supposed to include several cells, the above formula may return several occurrences of the same value because the RAND between function is not duplicate free. It is especially the case when you are picking a relatively big sample from a relatively small list. The next example shows how to do a random selection in Excel without duplicates. There are a few ways to select random data without duplicates in Excel. Generally, you use the RAND function to assign a random number to each cell, and then you pick a few cells by using an index rank formula. With a list of names and cells A2 to A16, please follow these steps to extract a few random names. Enter the RAND formula in B2 and copy it down the column. Put the below formula in C2 to extract a random value from column A. Copy the above formula to as many cells as random values that you want to pick. In our case, we copy the formula to four more cells, C2 to C6. That's it. Five random names are extracted without duplicates. Like in the previous example, you can use the index function to extract a value from column A based on a random row coordinate. In this case, it takes two different functions to get it. The RAND formula populates column B with random numbers. The rank function returns a rank with a random number in the same row. For example, rank B2 from B2 to B16 in cell C2 gets the rank of the number in B2. When copied to C3, the relative reference B2 changes to B3 and returns the rank of the number in B3, and so on. The number returned by rank is fed to the row num argument of the index function, so it picks the value from that row. In the column num argument, you supply 1 because you want to extract the value from the first column. As shown in the screenshot above, our Excel random selection contains only unique values, but theoretically there is a slim chance of duplicates appearing in your sample. Here's why. On a very large data set, RAND might generate duplicate random numbers and RANK will return the same rank for those numbers. Personally, I've never gotten any duplicates during my tests, but in theory, such probability does exist. In case your worksheet contains more than one column of data, you can select a random sample in this way. Assign a random number to each row, sort those numbers, and select the required number of rows. The detailed steps follow below. Insert a new column to the right or to the left of your table, column D in this example. In the first cell of the inserted column, excluding the column headers, enter the RAND formula. Double-click the fill handle to copy the formula down the column. As a result, you will have a random number assigned to each row. Now to prevent RAND and to recalculate the cells, I'll highlight the cells and while pressing the right click of the mouse, I'll move them to one column and move it back. That way I will choose to copy the cells as values here. Sort the random numbers, largest to smallest. Sorting in ascending order would move the column headers at the bottom of the table, so be sure to sort descending. For this, head over to the Data tab, Sort and Filter Group, click the ZA button. Excel will automatically expand the selection and sort the entire rows in random order. If you are not quite satisfied with how your table has been randomized, hit the Sort button again to resort it. Finally, select the required number of rows for your sample, copy them and paste them to wherever you'd like. <laughs>